we have a new streams release, 0.42, and as always, we have for you a short video going through the main changes. This release has over 100 changes from over 20 different contributors. It supports Kubernetes 1.23 and newer, and the last Kubernetes version this release was tested with was Kubernetes 1.30. This version adds support for Apache Kafka 3.7.1. That means that all the supported Kafka versions in this release are 3.7.1, 3.7.0, 3.6.2, 3.6.1, and 3.6.0. One of the big milestones achieved in this release is the promotion of the UseCraft feature gate to GA. It means that this feature gate is now enabled by default and cannot be disabled anymore. The UseCraft feature gate was used mainly while developing the craft support in Strimzy. Moving the feature gate to GA means that we do not expect any backwards incompatible changes to the craft support anymore. But it doesn't mean that we don't support Zookeeper-based Kafka clusters anymore. They are still supported in Strimzy 042 and we plan to support Zookeeper-based Kafka clusters until Zookeeper support is removed in Apache Kafka 4.0. There is also no need to migrate your Zookeeper-based clusters right away today just because the UseCraft feature gate moved to GA. If you want to use craft-based Kafka clusters, you still need to use the annotations on the Kafka custom resource. The strimzy.io slash craft annotation needs to be set to enabled, and you need to enable and use the Kafka node pools as well. Another big improvement in this release comes to the quota support. If you use Kafka's default quotas plugin, you can now configure default user quotas directly in the Kafka custom resource. It allows you to configure default producer or consumer by trade, as well as some other quotas, and apply them to all users by default. We also improved the support for a Strimzy quotas plugin. This includes a new version of the plugin, 0.3.1. This plugin can be now also configured directly in the Kafka custom resource, and it helps you to prevent running out of disk space by blocking the producers when storage utilization reaches predefined limit. It also allows you to set per broker throughput rates. If you use the older version of the Strimzy Quotas plugin, please be careful about the API changes related to the new version. There are also many other changes, for example, our container images are now based on the Red Hat UBI 9 base image. You can now configure timeouts in the HTTP bridge for Kafka producers and consumers. And we support loading of multiple trusted certificates based on a pattern from a single secret. And there are of course many additional smaller improvements, bug fixes, and dependency updates. And that's it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the new Streams release.